Peak Four, performance level. Three, two, one. Right. This game is funny because we got two. Oh. We won off of two back caps. It was pretty nice. Okay, so we're just pocketing me, Damage aka Dash. Um, here. I know, I know you like risky res and like risky everything, but just hide behind corners and stuff. Like your beam can still stick out. Like you got all this space and look. Look at that hog. He's he's looking at you. He wants to hook on phonics on you. Or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, see like right here when you're saying like I keep t pointing to my monitor like you guys can see, but like right here, yeah, just stay hide behind. Like you can either cuz like your beam can go through walls. I think it's like for 2 seconds before it breaks. So you can just like hover a and D between the like behind cover, not behind cover. <laughs> Alright, that's good. So yeah, whenever people get hooked, you wanna flick to healing beam because there's a good chance that you can out heal hogs damage. Damage increase. I'm here. <laughs> Let's get you back in the fight. Okay. The rest could have been okay. Probably would have still again hiding. As long as you know where people are, then reses can get some good value. Alright, you need to... You're still left-clicking Rendell when you should have damage boost. You gotta, like, when playing Mercy, you gotta, like, make use of this... of this healing thing. So as soon as you, like, top them off, click to... Why is that Sombra? She's, like, moving awkwardly. <laughs> but yeah. You always want to damage when you can, and heal when not. <laughs> and then... I always damage boost Baby Diva so they can get their mech back really quickly. Okay, the res was okay. It looks like you're behind the wall. Yeah, now, now we have Palo, so use Palo for cover. Get in there, Bob! Onwards to victory! Damage boosting Bob. Good. It's always good to damage boost Bob as opposed to heal it. <laughs> Battle Mercy. I require aid. That res was okay, cause the diva and Diva were putting pressure on that soldier, so he couldn't like shoot you down. It seems. Let me get you patched up. Mm, see that point? What you just did on the Diva? You need to cancel Guardian Angel. I know there's like a setting where you can toggle Guardian Angel, so you toggle it off, so you don't fly past the person you're healing, and then you're just like body blocking them, and then you're just dying. So yeah, you would like, like to help the diva out. You would just like guardian angel like halfway and then like toggle it off. And then I know it's a lot, but like when I run away as Mercy, I always like put my head box down. Like I always look down at the floor and like try to like crouch and run out so they like try to like not hit you a lot. Payload. Take cover. Good hide. Pass into the iris. This is not your time. Yeah, see, you're doing you're doing healing beam when it should be damage. Cause see, I'm I'm full here. EMP activated. And you pulled out your pistol and let our Zen die at that. Yeah, and as soon as that Zen died, then they had the fight.
This Does he back cap at this point? I wonder. Spit. Translocating. Not back capping. Oh wait, I want to see this. Look, he's trying. Hello. Onwards. The payload's on its way. The payload <laughs> has reached the checkpoint. Okay, I just want to see that. <laughs> okay, back to you. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's so funny. Alright. So again, your healing should be... Or is it damage? Why is the beam invisible? I can't see it. Does it heal? I don't know. Onwards to victory! On Head me. I would not have Valk there because we're like all spread apart. And I think I'm the only one around you. So usually you want to... What I do, like I use Valkyrie... When we got, like, you could, it depends. So there's one option where you can do it when the team has a pick. So they have a kill. You can use Valkyrie to, like, sort of encourage them to push forward and stuff. You can do it when you want to get, like, a good res and think it's going to turn in the fight. See, look, you're, you're, you're Valking, but you're just beaming me. So that's kind of useless. Valkyrie is really good when you're beaming your entire team. Oh, thank you for the pocket. Excuse me. Yeah, see, I would have. Uh, so, Ice Cream hacked the Bob. Probably would have damaged Ice Cream or damaged me so we can, like, delete the Bob real quick instead of healing. I think I did say damage me or something. I don't know. Don't just like scoot over. This is not the end. Yeah, usually when I want damage, I would ask for it. Like in, in a case like that too. Damage boost engage. Get them off me. Beacon on fire. Nice. Where does it go? Damage increased. We're damaging good. Alright, look back to damage. Good. Alright, heal and then go back to damage. Let me get you touched. EMP activated. We're avoiding the dynamite. Good. Another pretty risky res. Then an unlucky bomb. I think he like back capped again or something. <laughs> Maybe. Gene. <laughs> Just waiting for that. Waiting for the somber to go off. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay. That's why you never hold still on payload, because something like that can happen. But yeah. Okay. It's only six minutes, and this one's pretty short. I'll probably go through it again, see if there's anything else I can catch. Ready for battle. I felt like I felt like I went through that real quick, so I felt like I didn't give like enough information that I could have. Ready for battle. <laughs> Ready for. Ba Ready for battle. Hide behind pillars or walls when beaming. Don't overheal. Hide on payload. Crouch more. Guard angel. 
use Valk when team gets a pick to help push forward or res. Yeah, I mean, you can use... There's, like, so many situations you can use Valk. Like, you can use it if, like, a DPS is using their ult and there's, like, no nano. You can, like, pocket, like... You can do, like, beam, visor, when a Genji blades and we don't have an honor or something like that. But yeah, never never res unless you know where the enemy is or Yeah, something like that. But um if you're like close to capping the point and that like everyone's down already, I would not waste that res because you're gonna get the point anyways. <laughs> Gosh, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Shell has enough points for it for one or two or three. Yeah, see that's why that's why I think support's like the most like diff well, I don't know if difficult would be the right word to say, but you have to like keep an eye on everything. So you gotta keep an eye on the enemy, like their positions, you gotta keep an eye on your team. You just you just have to be aware of everything. Almost enough for five. Yeah, and then you can also like use like Neandra's videos for like, I keep saying like a lot, but for doing the, um, what's it called? Mercy, mercy jumps or whatever. And then when you res, I would like look down because like your wings kind of hide your hitbox. Oh look, Chai's moving. Oh, she went away. Yeah, so whenever, yeah, whenever you res, I always like to look down so it hides your hitbox. Like, look down and away from where you think the enemy is, if you think you can get the res off, basically. Yeah, and you always want to like damage a hit scan for the most part. Cause like Mercy's like she's a pocketer. She pockets usually a DPS or something. And then I would like if there's a Ryan and he wants to like fire strike, I would try to like pocket him. Fire striking or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and I always like, like, you don't have to use points to ask questions, so. Just for the VOD reviews, smile. But yeah. Like, Mercy, like. She. She has, like, okay healing, but she gets her best like uptime as long as she stays alive so all of that is like using cover just using um, cover to heal and to damage whenever you can which is why it's usually nice to like pocket a hit scan because hit scans usually won't stay up in their face so that means you can stay far back too Yeah, like you could you could have even um damaged the Zen. Boosted boosted Zen is pretty scary, especially if you got a Discord on someone. That's like insta delete that. Yeah. Yeah, so you had so like from the beginning, I think I think they saved Zen. But you had like three good targets. I mean, you could boost a D.Va, but usually D.Va wants to, like, get in people's faces. And Zen, like, you can't, like, you could pocket a D.Va once then, but Zen would be, like, the only heal, the only other heal, which is not ideal. Like, you can be really, like, risky and, like, pocketing tanks if there is, like, an Ana or, like, a Moira instead of a Zen. And I know, like... Some some cases, if it's just a Zen, like if you're like playing comp, 
the Mercy wouldn't be able to res because of Zen heals only. Like it wouldn't be like you wouldn't it wouldn't be a point to get off a of res at all unless there was like an honor or something. But that's like comp. Yeah. Oh yeah, and did you know when you damage boost a Junkrat mine and he places it down, it stays damage boost until it gets destroyed or detonated. So if there's a junk rat and they want to mine the enemy door, like when we're like defending or something, we can just like boost boost it. It stays damage. So if he detonates it, that damage boost will still stay. So I know that's a thing that I know of. But yeah, but like as soon so damage stays on projectiles as soon it like leaves its casing so like a suit like I don't know how to des describe but like you can damage boost Hanzo dragon you can damage boost baby divas ult but like as like you have to stay damage boosted while they're casting their ult so while diva is throwing her bomb keep damage boost and as soon as she throws it you can beam someone else so like as soon as I throw dynamite, as soon as it leaves my hand, you don't have to damage boost it anymore. I know they've been like changing that type of thing like a little bit, but I think that's the situation that it is right now. So I could be wrong, but but yeah. And also, so like for also for mercy, when you're beaming someone, I always try to like look for flanks. So like you're beaming someone like right in front, you can look to your left and look to your right and see if there's anyone flanking because your beam will still stay on the person, on the target, as long as they don't like hide behind a wall or something. And yeah, and when you Valk, ideally you're supposed to damage boost. You can battle Mercy sometimes, but ide the ideal is to damage boost your team while Valking. Because your beam gets like double double length or something like that. Yeah. The only time where I would like heal when I'm Valkyrie is like if my tanks are crit or something like that. You want to try to keep them up. And the, we're winning the fight or something like that. Yeah, but I know there's silly times where you get like nano Valk. So, yeah. And also, if you're if you die and you're trying to like regroup with your team and there's no one there, always have your pistol out. Cause your beam is not useful unless there's a teammate nearby. So if you're walking out of spawn by yourself, always have your pistol in case there's like there could be a slight chance someone spawn camping. Because you, you, you can only use, like, you can't beam yourself. You beam other targets, but your pistol is, like, when you walk out by yourself, so. That's what I do. Yeah, stay strapped. Keep, keep the guacamole close. Let's see. But yeah, I also, I also watch um, Neandra on YouTube. She has really good mercy tips and stuff, and she'll show you how to like super jump. She has a workshop for it too, which is nice. But yeah, most of my tips I got from her. I used to watch Animatic or Animatic or something that top 500 mercy player, but I don't watch them anymore. Taking a walk in Cicero. But yeah. 
I don't know. I think I guess that's all I have. I don't know if I could like say anything else. Just like what I'm thinking, but yeah. Mercy's really good as long as you stay alive and hide and from the enemy team and just self-aware. Yeah, do you, do you have any questions? Like straight up? Or I will take questions after our lecture class. XD. If you see a tank dead and you're boosting, do you let the tank just go res, respawn? It depends. If you think the fight's winnable and if you can get the... If you think resing that tank will heavily impact the game, like if the tank normally, like if you observe the tank playing really well in the first place, and you think resing will like heavily impact that, but if you can get it off and, and, like, you're still in the team fight, like, it's not lost, I would. You also have to make sure if your teammates, if your teammates are good. So if your teammates are kind of low, I would focus topping off the teammates first because you got, you got 10 seconds to res. So in that time, before you actually go for the res, you can top off your teammates or top off whoever is crit and then go for the res. Like, you don't have to res right away. I mean, you can, but you might just get disoriented and like, while you're like trying to like readjust, you could just get shot in the face. <laughs> but you just gotta look down, like look down and spin a little bit for rezzing, like and look away from the enemy team. Ew, that don't sound nice. That don't sound pleasant at all. Yeah, I keep telling, like, everyone, like, other people that we play with, like, if they have any questions or something, like, I'm not a professional or anything, but from my experience, I kind of know what works and what doesn't. For the most part. Not all the time, but for the most part.